Hello everyone and welcome to another IA Roadkill Gaming video. We are playing Farming Simulator 19 and we are in New Woodshire with normal economy and trying to achieve 10 million in bank. We are playing on the PlayStation 4 and this is episode 46. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons please. Thank you. We are just finishing up the sugar beet harvest as you can see always a good feeling when you're done with that that looks wonderful and I have been hauling this to the, the I was gonna say silo uh, to the pigs to the pig trough every time my harvester got full so I've made this path back and forth quite a bit and I should have been keeping track of how many I've done but anyway yeah I've been putting the uh, sugar beets directly into the pig pen as harvested and let's look whoops I guess it could have gone the other way uh, we are in the green but not completely full but that's good. It's three quarters. They don't use that much, so that'll be good. And we are full. I mean, empty. I'm flustered because I just recorded a half hour clip and figured out I wasn't recording. So, this is what they call take two. All right, we need to clean this. And I'm going to make it a habit to clean and repair before I put them away. Oh, I keep, what do I keep stepping on? Oh, I'm parked too close. I need to park farther away. All right. I cannot repair it. I don't have any money. Alright, so we'll have to repair this before we harvest next time. And now you get to watch my terrible parking backing upper skills. Going slow so I don't mess it up. How much farther back can we go? See, that was the wrong way. Well, that's far enough. Oh, we forgot the topper over there. Eggs? Ooh. Uh, I was going to say the eggs are all going into that one crate and not randomly joining the other crates, but I think that's because those two crates that I put down there that are still empty aren't in the, aren't inside the little hash mark area. They are just outside. We need to tap those in. I'll bet that's why we're not getting anything in there. They're just on the edge, so it's not going to let them fill. Ooh, that was a near rollover. And he's almost full. Put that there. Where is he going? He's going away. Let's go empty him before he turns around. Get back in there. Oh. 
Oh, we're gonna have to wait for him to turn around because the pipe's on the wrong side. Maybe we can catch him as he's turning around. Let us do it. Well, don't back up. Well, brownies. Fudge brownies. You silly boy, you. I guess I could have parked closer and he would have backed up and unloaded there, but he probably would have taken off. And it's a work. Let's set this out just a little bit. I think he might have had a little tuft sticking out somewhere. There you go. Alright. Heavy load, heavy load. Right there? Oh. Nope, nothing sticking out. I guess I'm... I'm a little crazy in my noodle. Alright. I'll leave that right there. What do we need to do? What to do? Oh, we need to tap these egg crates. We need to move the egg crates over. I guess if I'm going to start the tractor, I might as well clean them. And if I'm going to clean them, I might as well clean the pigs. I have to keep them pigs happy. They've been a money drain since I've started this series. And I'm looking forward to them being a money maker here shortly. I say shortly, I don't have a clue how long it's going to be. Alright, let's go over to the other side. Although I call them a money drain, but we got a fair amount of money from their uh, manure, so I guess they're not a money drain. Sorry, pigs, I take that back. missed. 
Now, can I do this without hitting the front crate? I think I have done it. Oh! Did you look at that? That's the reason why we weren't getting any eggs in there, because they weren't inside the yellow hash lines. So, let that, uh... Let that bit of information sink into your head. Egg crates need to be inside the yellow line to work. Alright. I wish they would fill up in a normal order instead of randomly, but whatever. Okay, let's see. I'll be right back. I was away too long from surgery. I completely forgot about having product crops in the silo. We've got corn in there. I think I knew we had a smidgen of wheat left. I did not remember all the barley. That might be why I planted oats across the road, because we had barley left over that we could feed the pigs. Hmm. Well, let's see here. Uh, oats are 1307 is the hot. Barley is 714 for a high. Um, 643 is close. That's within 50-ish. Oats, oats, oats. 1307. Well, it's got to go a ways up. Canola. 1357. That's got to go up a little bit. Soybeans, 19... That's got to go a ways. The corn, 965. What? Corn, 965 is the high that I have seen. Oh, that's, oh. I was looking at the soybeans number. I was in shock. I was going to sell everything. Corn, 908. Um, and 965 was what the high used to be. Uh, I don't know what I think about that. I might just hang on to the corn and not sell it yet. I need to give a bunch to the pigs, though. Oh, boy. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. He's here. Oh, no. I needed to unload him on this pass. Oh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I got lead in my shoes. Oh, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. Go, 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 go. Oh, I got to catch him. I got to catch him. I got to catch him. Stop. Oh, darn it. Ninety-nine percent. I knew he was going to get full. We'll just let him go ahead and fill up. Okay. I think this is going to fill up the tractor, the wagon. Yep, 
Yes, it did. All right. Well. There we go. Let him get back to work. I will put this in the silo after I mistakenly turn it off. And I am going to take all the corn out of the silo and give it to the pigs. Or should I? Yes, I should. I didn't know it would let me fill it up before it got e back down even. Let's go make the pigs happy. I'm watching the harvester in the background there, hoping I can get there before he gets to the end and I can start unloading him. He might be getting full. I'm not sure. He's taking a longer path. Oh, yep, he's getting full. Well, that worked out perfect. up here because I think he's going to want to back up and he will sideswipe me. Nope. Oh, yep. Oh, I got out of his way just in time. All right, we will leave this right here. And let's grab Big Blue.
And let's grab the plow slash cultivator. No. Yes. Culti plow. Alright. That was a bad miss. Try that again. There we go. And let us come out this door this time. Why not? Ooh, because we've got wide tires on. Yeah, this, this guy needs to come clear down here from now on because he's got all the wide stuff on. And we will start plowing the sugar beet field up. Getting it ready because we might as well. We have to put a couple of headlands down here. So that he can turn around. If I got rid of these trees at the end of the field, they would turn around better. I should probably think about doing that, but... Nah. I don't want to do too much... Uh, forestry on this map. Well, that is like the best turnaround I have ever done. Ever. Two headlands done. That means he'll be able to turn around. I gotta get him scooched over. Is that too close? Right there? Nope, not close enough. Better to have a little overlap than to leave a spot missed. Why did you stop up there? You are silly. Where's the harvester at? Oh, here he comes. Oh, I got my cruise set at three. I'm glad I noticed that. I'm glad I didn't just hop out and run away. That would cost us a lot if he did this field at three miles an hour. Uh, am I going to have time to jump out and get the wagon? I gotta unload him before he gets to the end. Yes, I can run right now. Get hit by a car, maybe? Alright. I think we made it. Get turned around here. I'm not sure how much he has in him. So, we're harvesting, he's plowing and stopping traffic, uh, we gave corn to the pigs, we have corn and the orange, we'll have that topped off when we start harvesting. What do you think? Should I take the barley out of the silo and put it in with the pigs, or should I do that with the wheat? I think you can make more money off of barley than you can the wheat. Barley. Barley. I want it to be 714. It is 643. 
I am not going to give that to the pigs. I'm going to hang on to it. How are the chickens doing on... Uh, hmm. I should probably give the wheat to the chickens. And save the barley as an emergency for the pigs. And I believe we need to plant wheat again. All right. Well, I'm going to let those two guys work. And I'll be back with you when the canola harvest is just about done. Well, it was a mad rush to get over here to the harvester because he was backing up and I don't know what he was going to do. So, yeah, I, I had to stop him. And I'm in the middle of swapping out chores for the tractors. I'm going to let the blue tractor do harvesting wagon work and I think I'm going to try corn what are you doing detach there we go well before I do that let's get this guy going I started uh, cult plowing the uh, canola field over here where we started with Big Blue and the cult plow and it dawned on me I've got a nice big cultivator right here See if I can square up to this so I can get it out of the stall without getting snagged. I will not be putting it back in there again. Alright. Yeah, so I forgot that I had this when I started and then I remembered. Ooh, I might as well put a headland on here. Because we don't need to plow this field, we just need to cultivate it. And it's a little wider. And I believe that he will go clear to the road. I don't have to do a double pass here for him. Let's get him squared up and we'll set a worker loose. Nice. Alright. So that field will be getting ready to go.
He has a trace of canola left in him. Oh well. I would like to get some corn harvest started. Come on. There we go. I'm lucky there's no traffic right here right now. And we will just jump over on this side so we don't accidentally hit something. Alrighty. I always like starting a new harvest. Alright, so... Let's Right there is fine. And that will change to corn. Let the corn harvest begin. Well, I'm going to let that be the end of this episode. Now that we've started another crop. I would like to thank everyone who stayed to watch the entire video. If you found it enjoyable, I would appreciate it if you would hit that like button. If you would like to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you would like to leave a comment, you may do so below. With that said, I would like to wish everyone, including you, a very wonderful day. Goodbye for now.